Hello everybody, welcome back to another Let's Play of Dragon Age Origins. In the previous part, we met Lord Haramount as we pledged our allegiance to him. I guess we did that a couple episodes ago, but... Or showed allegiance to him by winning and approving for him. And... He, in order to, um... Ensure that he gets the throne, because it's kind of like a stalemate right now. So 50-50 between Balin and himself. So the best way to help, um... Split some of the uh, some of the voters up, the the assembly members, is by taking out um, Jarvius uh, Cartel or the Carter. Car I don't know because I don't think it's Cartel. Maybe it is Cartel, but who knows? Something ran by Jarvius, so. That's what we're doing. We're taking her out. Uh, we infiltrated her base. And obviously her lackeys are not happy with that, so. But that's okay. Carta. You see, I knew I you see I knew it wasn't cartel. I knew it was something you knew. Carta. So, so Jarvius Carta. That's what we're after right now. Boom, boom, boom. Oh crap, opening that bot. I saw the damage, but it, it actually like gave us injuries. Hold on. Yes. Got that. Ooh, you look, you're kind of hidden over here. We'll kill you all the same. Yeah, so that's what we're doing in um, the previous part and this part. Okay. I think this door right here continues forth. But I want to make sure we get everything. Hold on, let's, uh... Be... Oh, can you do anything about this gory mess? This is the best part. So, like, if you don't like your characters being all bloody and stuff, he will clean everything up. He... You see something interesting? With a 200-year-old bottle of wine. Dust still clings to it. Sweet. That's really, like, one advantage of bringing your dog. Let's wipe them out quickly. Yes. Boom. Oh, yeah, oh crap, I'm about to die. Oh, I don't even know what we got. Oh, let's level you up. Uh, get you with this. And then that way you can open everything that you're able to open. At least, like, aside from doors that cannot be picked or doors that require keys. Anything else, though, is now ours. So long as Liliana is with us. Which I'll probably just keep bringing her with us until I can get Zevron, like, the ability to open up. Uh, better things because you gotta level that up and for some reason his is just like very bad but that's okay oh, they're carrying some money on them no wonder they're working for Jarvia he ain't paid all right let's keep it going well this is obviously yeah. a Trap right here. Trap right ahead. Yes. Thank you. All is well. I need another one right here. There has to be. And they're not. Okay. <laughs> okay, this way looks like it's going to lead to like a dead end or something like that. Yep. Oopsies. The jailer. This is the jail. Have a little chit chat with this uh, prisoner over here. So I don't really. 
So I don't really play, I don't really play through as dwarves a whole lot, but I've, I've done all the origin stories at one point in my life. And I think the cool thing about this game is the fact that even if you don't like uh, specifically play as um, like the if you don't do that particular origin line, for the most part, the the guy the guy or girl that you would play as like they don't just not exist. Like they obviously don't go on to become the great warden like you are and stuff like that. And Duncan doesn't like save them and shit, but like. Um, they exist, like, this, this, a corpse over here, if I would have done the, um, so there's two, uh, dwarf origin stories that you could do, um, there would be the commoner one, in which you end up like him, and then this is your friend over here, what is his name? I'm not, Lesky, something like that, and then, why well, they even, like, mentioned this earlier, um, if you did the noble dwarf origin story, you're you're like the brother of Balin, and like, so that's pretty interesting, I would say. And then because they mentioned that the eldest Trian was dead, and the middle child stood above him, all bloodied and stuff like that. But yeah, it was just oh, that's one of the reasons why he, like it's so hard for me to side with Balin most of the time. Please, stranger. Moving on. Thank you. We've been down here. It's been so long. My, my friend didn't make it. Just stopped eating one day, and all for a stupid bet. Yeah, get out of here. Okay. Oh man, we're at the point again where there's nothing I can do to level. Okay, I guess I could go back and do. Okay, I'll do that. That way I can get something at least. Now... What do I need to wear this? 42 strength. Okay, so I wouldn't, I was, I wouldn't be able to. Okay. Alright. Let's keep on moving. So we freed a prisoner of Jarvia. Jarvie is not going to like that. Not like she's going to like us anyways, but neither here nor there. I'm go around this way. I feel like there's like a trap or something. Time for more practice. That. Some junk in there, do crafting items first. What does this look like? Nice. I was just curious. Um, stuff that's not going to catch me a pretty price, we'll get rid of them. Do you need to go to a merchant after this, though? I feel like there's cheaper stuff I could have sold before those. God damn it, I'm an idiot. Those sh weapons should never be the first things you sell. Should have, I did right by going to the uh, one things first, but then I should have gone to like gifts or whatever. Uh, bad decision right there on my part. Time for more practice. <laughs> like her armory or something right here. No. Because last time, look at all this shit. Inspect prop blade that gives the appearance of quality. Yeah, no. Last time I ended up with injuries and I'm not going through that again. Inventory is full. I would just destroy it. I do need that, so. No. Mm. Okay, hold on. 
night. Let's go back. Oh, oh wait. Oh, how dear of you. Found cake. Thank you so much. Interesting. Okay, I thought you would like that. I'm sorry. Should have done that too, but we'll also get rid of these first. Got a gold ring. And a fucking gold ring. Okay. Still have a pinch of ashes. Or a pouch of ashes, excuse me. Oh no, I didn't want to take that. I wanted to take. Okay. No, we won't take that. Okay. Nope. You got quite the little base here. Real shame that you had to work against me. Huh. Got. <laughs> no. No. Just say I'll just save my time. What is in here? Well, I don't think I think This is quite the fucking base. How does this? How did this all go unnoticed? We got fucking domesticated pets or something? Spooky. <laughs> I feel like I just looked in there. Interesting. Th that sound is so. Ugh. I should have gone and got all that stuff. Wait, what was this quest for? Because I remember reading something about it. Take the cheapest items in each of. Uh, take only the cheapest from each or risk. Oh. Okay. Oh, so it's kind of a little bit like a puzzle. Okay, if it's a puzzle, then I kind of want to go back and do it. How do you determine the cheapest thing, though? That's a... Okay. Hold on, but... Hmm. Silver costume ring. Okay, so I got the right one that time. I'm gonna quickly double back because I know that other one wasn't too far. So let's go quickly get back to that so we can open his stash. Because he better have a good fucking stash. If he doesn't have a good stash, I'm gonna be upset. Okay. It was in here, if I'm not mistaken. Iron, red steel. Okay. It's definitely iron. Okay. Alright. 
we can go back and uh, open his stash, and I think that'll be a good spot to leave the episode off. Hmm. Ooh, 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 a little choppy, a little choppy there. I don't know if that would happen. I heard a sound. What the fuck? I think that's. Oh yeah, seven gold. There we go, seven gold. That was definitely worth it. Okay. All right, so like I said, I think this will be a good spot to end the episode off. If you guys uh, enjoyed the series, go ahead, uh, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. And then I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.